Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali Dan and we are playing Generation Zero. No, day is gone, I mean. Sorry. Day is gone. No, Generation Zero. Day is gone. So yeah, guys. Enjoy the gameplay. No. Uh oh, that was not. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. He's good, he's good. Reload, reload, reload. Enemy now. Ooh, that was hard. Yeah, takes always one try. I'm Russell, Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cut. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Whoa! Oh, and you. <clears throat> no, wait, wait, I want to take deer meat. No, 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 wait. You We've been having some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. A patrol picks you up, could be trouble. 
No, you cannot okay, take deer meat. So, so bad. uh, the shoots county militia. Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute, and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here, we got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Mm, out of ammo? Yeah. Okay. Probably need some of these. What is this? Oh, why not? Need this. Take that as well. Let's see what's getting what is inside. No. Oh, there's many things in inside though. We cannot go inside, right? No. Ah, we come back later, I suppose. We do, we do come back later. Uh, no, it's good. Okay, now I am ready to ride with you guys. So we lost let me see the map. So I can I cannot go back. Hey Iron Mikes. The last thing in the row by Iron Mikes. I cannot go back there again, I guess. Or I don't know. Find the Okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Girls got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern, fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders. Nobody messes with you. Women, same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not. Uh, listen, I, I'm just. I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake. They would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time. I told you something is off with this map. I'm out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp. Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. Captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost... This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Okay, this... I, I, I don't like this. The sounds of... The sound of it. Uh, kind of creepy. Let's see what's going on here. Oi, oi, oi. Report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. Ooh, he is not friendly, can I, can I tell? And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. What, you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. 
Okay, this is... Hmm. So, what have you been drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know. Gear. Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Oh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. That is not... Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took her because she wouldn't have given it to him, so that means that she's gotta be here. Check the kitchen. See what's... Hmm. He doesn't look like militia. That's all I got today. So, nah, wait, 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 wait. Merchant? Hey, hey sorry, uh, what can I get you? Hello. Uh, I ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. So, so every cam has its own raptor. Water damage reducing durability. Why not? Yes, it's sir. That, that, that's a good one. Uh, tire don't have cash for that. Nitrogen don't have cash for that. Don't have cash for that. Hmm. Wait for that. Uh, uh, don't have cash for that don't have cash for that and visual doesn't matter so much though durability huh oh but All right, then. yeah let's see oh, the bounty okay, hunters hey new this around here gunsmith Ava Bergstrom Friends call me Bergy. Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job, and we'll get along just fine. How's okay. That? How's that? Yes, ma'am. I just fought a bear, and you say, you do your job, and I am doing just mine. Uh -huh. yeah? Rumi, right? Uh, hey, I, I gotta ask, you, uh, you seem a long way from home out here. I was studying theater at the community college here. Go fighting Pratipus. Yes. I am I was an exchange student from Yokohama in Japan. I kind of figured that. Yes. Anyway, as you say, a long way from home. All right. Okay then. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see. Who is he or she? She. 
Who is she? Oh, he. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. Alright, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man? You playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. What the? Jesus, that dude's fucked up. <laughs> for Sarah, she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? <clears throat> You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Come on, we are fighting a war. I I kind of noticed that. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Ah, damn it, she's not here either. That's got to be the one. Sarah, Sarah, you in here? Shit, I'm not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. No, could it couldn't. Cute drawings. Are you on this channel? Cool, Rick. Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. I am at the gate now. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Goodbye. Are you any good? Can you ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? You're going to have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. What? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? A militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? Hey, John. Whatever it takes to win. A war. That's what it is, isn't it? A war. You've been out in this shit. You've seen the wars. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? 
Uh, how long has uh, Vasquez, long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Oh. <laughs> Where do we start? Good. It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. Run. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I can always use this. I know that's his shit, but I want to check this loot before I do. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. something yeah shell casing recently fired he uh well he stopped to shoot at something come on down here hold up hold up what, is it infected go on get out of here what are you doing that ever worked for you yelling at a wolf Depends on what? On how hungry it is. <laughs> Look out! More wolves! I see him! <laughs> the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. Ah, fresh meat. Okay. <clears throat> fresh meat is always good. There is one more. Yeah. I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. 
You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. He's a tracker, man. He tracks everything. Oh. Bum. Gee, really? You mind if I take some of this shit? Not at all. We might need it when we catch up to him. Remind me to thank Vasquez once we find him. Yeah, of course. There with you. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. We just gotta keep moving. Okay. We're gonna join the militia. We must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being the shit, killing freaks, he kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell a corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. We are not going to fight them, right? Not now, at right. least. We're now. Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. No, but he's either dead. Or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in. Let you join? Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Hey, wait, hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Well, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming.
Is he your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, see about that. <laughs> Who is that? What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red arm band? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Thank you, Dick. Thank you. You're the best man. What just did happen? I've been shooting anything. No, he's not coming. Or Drew. No, he's not coming. No, come on, smoke. Sometimes I'm getting really. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> More ammo. You stay back there you are. Don't ever come this way. This is my job. This is my kind. Shit. Yeah, shit. Really? You didn't... Really didn't... Think that. You come this way, I kill you. You didn't... Taunt that, right? Come down then. Come down and check what is that? Who is that? You never know. Someone. Yeah, someone. you have I just don't want that is a good idea what was what was this huh. Come this way. I like you more. Yeah. 
Go, 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 go. Go. Go, nobody's here. Nobody's going to harm. Nobody's going to hurt you. Do you want me to change this for what? This? No, you're not needing this. Hmm, I know, okay. So there is one dude left over there. Not one, there is two, I guess. Two or three. I heard something. <laughs> Ah, you think so? No, nobody's here, believe me. You have to believe me, man, nobody's here. No, I cannot go up there. So sad. That was a sidearm attachment. No, oh, no, this was not the way I really wanted. Where did he go? Where is he? That was a messed up situation. I'm not gonna I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Get the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not you think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. What 
hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. <laughs> Hold your position. Oh, Korea. damn. <laughs> they have been <laughs> neutralized. Yeah, one man army, you, you know? <laughs> they have been neutralized. We brought up your bikes, Captain. I thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You pass. <laughs> You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> you have my ring, and that is not a good so, thing. John, where did you serve? Before the shit went down. Hey, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know, cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? No, 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 no. I really want to loot that place. Damn it. I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force ten years. Part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SACCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Well, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, a few summers back, me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Doesn't matter. As long as you tell me, how did you get the ring? And where is she? I'm not going to kill you. But if you don't do that, I am going to kill you. Doesn't matter. If you had a wife or not. Yeah. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. 
Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. <laughs> He's cute. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. We have to run. This goes too slowly. They, they, have, they could have done what better. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, oh, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. You know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come oh, on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a pop card? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pop farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. Is this marijuana? In the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation, put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Good, come on. Come on. <clears throat> Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Oh my god. Look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this what you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing i mean the moonlight the wildflowers and the fireflies oh i see you were kidding again okay you don't take anything seriously oh i take everything seriously oh yeah right i do 
You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we'd get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. <laughs> oh, I you know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, uh -oh. I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Hey, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. Wow. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something. No. See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <sighs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think you probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skull. Dog skull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, uh, it's... Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me, like, a real ring, though, right? <laughs> not that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. because, I, I just you know, thought... that's my ring. Right, it's your yeah. ring. Right. Something more simple. Without fame. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, yeah, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. No. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. Aw, she's so cute. So that is the promise he made, that's why he won't give up on her and still chasing her or trying to find why she, who, how, if she is dead or not actually, so that makes sense actually, that makes sense, good, I like Deke, I like Deke very much, really. My wife's name was uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe. And see you in the next episode.